What in the holy eagle democracy freedom is this? Since when did the USA reach its peak form? I don't know, but it's time to ruin this beauty by playing the most American state of all. Good old Florida. This is the America Divided mode, of course, and I don't know absolutely anything about it. It's the first time I'm playing it, but I can reform the CSA, so I'm all for that. In game, of course. What the hell? We got fucking bicycles? What kind of liberal pussy ass communist boy did this mod? Where the fuck do they think we are? Communist goddamn Soviet Union? Nah, bro, the true freedom is to have a six ton truck driving on that 16 lane highway. That's what freedom is. So get this shit out of here. Well, it seems like Florida is not a very nice place to live because pretty much nobody's living here. We only have 1.6 million core population and about no industry. So I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get all of the south with that, but I wanna try. So let's see what our focus is about. All right, it's, it's pretty sizable. It seems like this path let us form some sort of Caribbean Union. That sounds interesting but navy sucks so no thank you now this pet seems like the most floridian one judging by the amount of alligator pictures but it also seems a little bit shallow so i think we're gonna go with this path for today so let's begin the elections Hello there! Are you a freedom lover, fellow patriot? Then you must do one thing and one thing only. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. One subscribe equals one vote for me as president in the 2024 elections. Also, there is a bunch of links in the description, one of which is my Patreon, which you can join and support me for only one dollar. You don't need to hurry, but just think about that. Alright, thanks. And back to the video. Huh, let democracy win. That sounds a little bit weird wouldn't democracy win by default why do you have to let it win and who exactly is letting democracy win that's my question wake up america the martians have all the power or was it the reptilians yeah you know what man i don't know how old you guys are probably around 12 but when i was a kid in the far far era of the 2010s the reptilian conspiracy was all the craze but nowadays nobody's talking about it it just disappeared and and i i kind of miss it it was it was funny it probably wasn't good for humankind at all but it was amusing me so please bring it back now that we let the democratic will of the people show don't worry about that we're gonna do a coup later let's get the florida military act for weekly manpower you guys know i like that shit and also three military factories texas can you fucking chill for a little bit we're only five months into the game and you're doing this shit i can't believe it with those texans they have no goddamn patience at all i want to take over Louisiana. Now everything gets ruined. Fucking hell. How the hell do we got anti-air but not artillery? I feel like we skipped an important step here. Oh, there is a guy with a skinny mustache leading Florida. That's in very poor taste. He gives us weekly manpower though. So maybe he's not that bad. Maybe he has a great personality or something. Anyway, the Republic of Georgia has to go. There is only one real Georgia and that is high up in the Caucasian mountains, not here in the swamps. So let's fix that injustice. They are also our weakest neighbor and I'm not gonna get a war goal on them through my focus tree anyways. So better take care of it early. Excuse me, Sir? The what? Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, okay, uh, good luck, buddy. They only have 8k people. Oh, damn, they actually have a focus tree. They can core some stuff. War goal on the Empire of Japan? Where the fuck is that? Oh, it's the island of Midway. This seems like a bitch to invade. They have 10 divisions on that island. Also, goddamn, they have 50 still here. Maybe I want a piece of the Empire of Japan for myself. The justification is ready. Those fuckers did uh, train more divisions in the meantime, so it's not gonna be that easy. But I see they left some tiles empty, which means I can easily encircle shit. And I mean, really easily. Like, Almost their entire army levels of easy. Didn't expect any more from this fake ass Georgia. It's like they don't even care, they just let me encircle them. They only got three divisions left. I'm gonna kill those two. For army experience of course, not in order to wage psychological warfare or anything. There we go, nice and tidy. Now a race to Atlanta boys. I think that's gonna be enough. Good ratios by the way. Alright, and I am gonna take everything. Don't think this is the best idea, but I already made my mind. 
I won't be able to court this very soon, so that's gonna be a bummer. I hope this mod doesn't have big factions because I'm about to go after South Carolina. Ah, for fuck's sake. Can't have shit in America. Are those guys even that powerful? Ah, they have quite a bit of divisions, damn it. Then I will have to wait to attack Alabama. They have a little civil war going on. Goddamn commies rising up everywhere. The fuck is this a border conflict? Are we in goddamn China again? I'm sick of this mechanic for real. And I am also losing. Are they gonna take this state from me? I hope not because I have so little manpower as is. Wait, did I start this? No, I didn't. But I am using my Alabamian tax. That's not nice. Well, let's get some better divisions then. I am waiting to produce more equipment and for those divisions to finish training before I'm gonna claim West Florida and go to war with Alabama. They are quite a bit stronger than me at the moment, so better be prepared. I am gonna then commit a grave crime and I'm gonna drain the swamps of Florida. Sorry gators, but we have to do it. And I'm also gonna get some land doctrine reduction. Things are moving a little bit. The People's Republic of Tahoma did something. Japan also took over Hawaii and they are now at war with Alaska. Texas ate Oklahoma finally. And Carolina now owns the three neighbors that were in the faction. And they are looking fucking scary. I am not looking forward to fighting this. Alright, so I finished the quote unquote industrialization program. Now we have 46 factories. Just grabbed integrate foreign troops for some non core manpower. And now it's finally time to claim West Florida. Florida. All my troops are ready, this is the template I'm using, and I'm halfway down my doctrine. I think I'm even gonna grab this one before the war is starting. My only hope is that Alabama is not gonna join the Southern Defense Council. That would be absolutely terrible, and will grind my progress this game to a halt. Let the show begin. We're gonna declare war immediately, and let's proclaim definitely not Floridian Hitler president for life. Okay, are they gonna join the faction? No, I think we're safe. So let's kill those pricks, shall we? I see some gaps into the front line, and I really like that. They are doing that weird shuffling again, and they are leaving more gaps into the front line. Not gonna lie, this pisses me off a bit. I mean, I don't want a fair fight, but come on. Give me a little bit of passion at least. But yeah, the Alabamian forces are no match for my brave gators. And we got one more encirclement. Oh, I finally got some cores. Almost doubled my population from this state alone. And I don't think those guys can stop me any longer, so let's just battle plan. Second war done, only 10k casualties. The Floridian Empire grows. Mississippi's next. Uh, this is strange. I should have had an war goal on them. I do have a core here. Finally got some more manpower, so let's train more divisions. Somehow the Mississippians were even weaker than the Alabamians. That's a shame. There is no foe good enough for Florida. Well, maybe Carolina, but we didn't get there yet. Oh my god, I'm so blind. I didn't see that this focus unlocks decisions to core conquered southern states. That's gonna be perfect because the only thing that keeps me back now is manpower. I only have around 4 million core population. And oh man, my cores are disgusting. Does anybody know why they are like this? I don't know if I should be attacking Louisiana now. They have a shitload of divisions. Wait, how the fuck do they have so much? They have less core population than I do. They have only about 1.6 million. What the fuck? Well, that might mean that they have very bad divisions. So I say we give it a try. The People's Republic of Cascadia formed. They are also really powerful. Other than that, not much happened. The Dakotas United, if anybody even cares about this. Yep, yep, they shit. Very, very bad divisions. <laughs> they lost 50k men in a couple days. Alright, let's end their suffering. Going in like true butter. Literally. Oh my god, it's this simple. I just click the button and I get cores on the entire state. I should have done this ages ago. Ah, this is cute. Thank you, Louisiana. Making things easier for me. It's quite hard to push because of all the rivers. So this is perfect. Oh my god, this is a struggle. I literally cannot break the Mississippi. It's too mighty of a river. And I even tried to retreat into my territory and encircle their divisions, but they are retreating so fast. I already lost 63k manpower. Okay, you know what? We are doing it like this this time. I have 
have to get some good encirclements here. There is no way I can. I even upgraded my division. Look at this shit. This is awesome and still they cannot push. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Some other life, how we say in Romania. I'm finally winning. God damn, those people from Louisiana got hands. My most formidable foe so far. <laughs> Kansas fell for the oldest trick in the book. Letting your enemy pour into your own territory while you take their capital. In this case, which is called Little Rock. That's a cute name for a state that is very forgettable. Alright, now I don't know what the wise choice will be. Either to attack Carolina, which also has the Kingdom of Dixie in their faction, and both of them are pretty strong, or to attack Texas and its faction. I don't know how many divisions they have, but they have been fighting for a long time, so they have no manpower. So yeah, I actually think going after Texas is better. It's only gonna take 20 days, damn, that's fast. <laughs> oh, it looks like the Texans didn't see this one coming. The Great Floridian Empire striking when they were busy in Mexico. Oh my god, they're going so fast. Also, Lone Star State my ass. They have a goddamn faction. It's all lies. Oh my god. I built a huge navy by mistake. I kept stealing the navies of the countries I defeated by reflex. So now I have over 200 ships. It is almost done. They are at 99%. 300k dead. What can I say? All bark, no bite. And I'm gonna annex everything, including the Mexican base, because I can get cores on them, I think. There we go. Let's integrate a bunch more shit. Oh, wait, for real? This entire territory only has... 27 million people in it. That seems like very few, even for 1943. Can I now form the CSA? Oh, not yet. I need to control Carolina and Virginia first. So I think that's our next natural target. Should I wait to core Texas first? Maybe I should. Oh my god, I fucking hate when orders split into like this. And I finished my focus tree in 1943. I don't know why, but those two trees are locked behind this path. No, actually, those two paths. I wish I could have done one of them them with my choice because there is a bunch of nice bonuses here. After acquiring Texas, killing Carolina is not hard at all. It's quite humiliating how fast I can push while having a third of their divisions. The war is over and I can finally hit the magic button. There we go, the Confederate States. Excuse me, the Confederate Empire. 40 million correlation, nice. Now I get even more cores. So let's get Kentucky and Missouri first. And they are guaranteed by Indiana, so we're gonna fight them as well. Yeah, well, nobody really conquered that much to be able to rival me. So from now on, it's just a walk in the park. Quebec is pretty big, though. They got quite a bit of factories, damn. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The Tsardom of Alaska? How did you become a thing, buddy? Oh, they only have 10 factories in all of this territory. That's a shame. So I was minding my own business, taking my course back. And I forgot that Arizona was in the Pacific Treaty or organization, so now I am also fighting California and Nevada. It shouldn't be that hard, but I also shouldn't be that cocky. Yeah, it's, it's not that difficult. Actually, quite easy. I see like once you get over a certain threshold in this mod, you just roll everybody. I mean, it's quite balanced at first, which is good to have a smoother experience later in the game. Ah, there we go. Now this is the true south, except we have one more foe. The eternal enemy of the United States, Mexico. Even though they didn't form yet, but we must not let them the chance because those fuckers will will cross the border illegally and boost our economy. And we don't want that. Also, we can form the Greater Confederate States of America. There we go. Nothing special happened, but it's a thing you can do. The only thing I can do now is integrate Sinaloa and realize the Golden Circle concept, which we are gonna do. I will need to invade those islands. Don't think that's very fun, but I'm gonna do it. All right, so I declared war on everything that is south of us. And when I mean, and when I say everything, Everything, I mean everything that took a lot of time even with 10 day justification so now I only have to do it on Mexico and I can start conquering everything also set up a bunch of naval invasions I hope I can easily land on those islands if not oh my fucking god Cuba has 80 divisions ah that's gonna be the hardest part Hope this is gonna be done very fast because I need to leave in 24 minutes. It begins. I think all of those guys combined have over a thousand divisions easily. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Cuba fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, one division died. That's not good. I don't like this. Okay, then let's get the small guys out first. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I cannot even kill the little guys. How is this island with 7k people defending? Oh my fucking god, how? Okay, th this is awful. Can't even push in Mexico anymore because of supply and somehow I'm not allowed to build railway. I mean, upgrading a supply hub from here doesn't work. So I will have to do it manually, which I don't want to do. I managed to land in Cuba. I even managed to push the enemies off the port, but my units are still encircled and they are killed. There we go. That's 14 and 16 divisions killed. Got one more invasion in the south and we got the capital. Nice. Can we now actually not die here? Please. Let's maybe do a last stand. Okay, it worked, but I don't have any supply here for some reason. Oh. Uh, and my divisions landed, where is no port. Nice. It's time to make the Mexicans pay for not surrendering outright. Okay, I think nukes are the way to go. Thanks to some luck and a shitload of nukes, I managed to encircle half of the Cuban army in the south. I would say things are going good, but I would be fucking lying. Look at this shit. I still have no goddamn supply. I have three goddamn ports. I don't know what else to do. My army is even garrisoning the seas, so I don't get it. Ah, it hurts. Invading all of those islands was an absolute pain. The funny thing is that they are absolutely unlivable now because I dropped several nukes in every single tile on every single little island and I'm not even joking. The Bahamas had 100 divisions and I still have four more nations to defeat. Mexico surrendered and now I am pouring down the Central American countries. They also have a lot of divisions so I need to use nukes again and I am running out of manpower again. Keep in mind that I am on service by requirement and I cannot go to all adults serve yet and I still need to capitulate all of those countries in order to get more cores. Why the fuck am I at war with New Brunswick? What the actual fuck did I do to you, buddy? Anyway, see you when, when, when more progress done. I am going to fucking hell. But, but you know what? I don't mind it because the game is coming with me. I'm gonna do all it takes to get this game to the pits of fucking hell with me. No matter what it takes. Things on the mainland are going very smooth. I only just have to show the enemy my nukes. And they basically shit themselves. I see that Venezuela is at war with Colombia now. That's a little bit unproductive. Because both of you have a very big threat coming. I don't know, I'm just saying. Actually, no, I shouldn't just be saying. Why the fuck am I trying to help my enemies? Oh, look at this. 23 divisions in one tile. I wonder what will happen if I press this button. Twice. Oh! They got pushed. What a surprise. I am already down in Colombia, so now guys, let's show you how a naval invasion goes. Our text subject is gonna be Puerto Rico, and they are probably the best island to invade because they are nice and round. Not like those guys that are gonna be a fucking pain to invade because they have so many islands and some of those islands even have a couple tiles so it's horrible okay so first of all for good measure we are gonna nuke every single tile of this nation but don't worry guys carpet nuking is in the bible so it's okay after we do this we are gonna start our naval invasion and in theory they should leave the island but they only have 47 percent naval supremacy so let's switch this guy to naval invasion support and they went now we go back to convoy escort now those 22 divisions are gonna land on those three tiles so we nuke them again and now we wait a little uh i don't know what the fuck happened they didn't even fight and they lost everybody's going home okay let's do this shit again then and of course let's bomb puerto rico again for good measure they lost 240k man those divisions are probably fucking drained and they can still hold my naval invasion of course game logic all right now this is a successful naval invasion we just need to drop a couple more nukes and this is how the divisions that are holding me look not quite in fighting condition if you ask me but the game knows better all right now to the next island which is barbados i also nuked them heavily we are down to the last three targets boys trinidad 
Suriname and of course New Brunswick. I already preemptively nuked the shit out of all of those guys. So now let's actually invade them. By the way, I am making one nuke in two days. I have 150 reactors. That's absolutely insane. Oh wait, I don't have navies here. There we go. That's Trinidad down and this is Suriname. I am also gonna declare war on Wyoming so I can have a nice straight border here. I cannot reach this sea zone so I'm not gonna be able to kill New Brunswick sadly. Oh damn, I have 2k ships. That's a lot. It's also 1953. I've been playing for almost 18 years and the enemy casualties are 12.5 million and at least 10 of those millions are because of my nukes. Alright, so the big moment arrived. Let's hit the magic button. Realize the golden square concept. There we go, nice and golden. We have reached the end of this campaign. We got 126 million core population. We pretty much core everything except California and Nevada, as well as those two states for some reason. And... Guyana and Suriname, they are also not our cores, I don't know why. But yeah, this was it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Floridian nightmare. Thank you for watching this far, and as always, I would like to thank my Patreons. Flossy, Tommy Leawan, Arctic, CJ, Madra, Devante, Thunder, Gronwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gatelycore, Jack M, Blocky, and Erika Mannerheim. Thank you guys again, and until next time, don't forget, Quebec will rise again, and you won't be able to hide.